Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me at City Craft Club. Today we're going to be making one of my all-time favorite things to gift to friends and family. Mugs. So you can personalize these mugs with any image or phrase or whatever that you want and it's totally dishwasher safe. So as far as materials, you will need a sublimation printer or some other home printer that you've converted into a sublimation printer in addition to, of course, sublimation ink and sublimation paper. If you don't know what I'm talking about with any of this, <laughs> please see below. I did um, link to some very, very helpful resources that taught me everything I know about sublimation, so check those out before you go ahead with this project. Next, you will need a Cricut mug press. Next, of course, you will need mugs. They can't just be any mugs though, so don't go and buy some cheapo ones and expect them to necessarily work with your mug press. They have to have a polyester coating in order to be able to sublimate. So I get my sublimation blank mugs from Amazon. Cricut does ever have its own line of mugs. I will also link to that below. I've just personally found that I can get Amazon mugs on sale more frequently and so keeps the cost down and they come in big boxes. So this is the 15 ounce mug and this is the 12 ounce mug. Today I'll be working with the 15 ounce mug, but again, both same process and they both fit perfectly. You will also need some heat resistant tape, some heat resistant gloves, in addition to some sort of heat resistant surface. So I usually use a silicone mat, which works perfectly. And, oh, a Cricut machine, of course. Any of the Cricut models suffice, with the exception of the Cricut Joy because that's simply not going to cut out an image large enough to go around these mugs. And finally, you will need Cricut Design Space in addition to any image that you want to upload. I personally love going to Etsy and finding these really cool, fun, vintage high-res images. I also go to Canva and make these silly little things myself. Of course, also use like a family photo, whatever is a high-res photo. You can get it from your phone, whatever, upload it to your computer, as long as it's high resolution and it's in the proper format to go into Cricut Design Space, it is totally doable. I have, as always, linked each of the products, tools, materials, and programs, including Cricut Design Space, in the video link description below. So everything is there for you to shop in one place and peruse, just to make sure you've checked everything off before you start this project. The very first step I always like to do before uploading anything into Cricut Design Space is to ensure that my image that I want on my mug is sized accurately and that the ratios and dimensions are correct for our mug template. This will save us a lot of time and hassle and frustration in Design Space. In order to do that, I go to canva.com. If you don't already have a Canva account, definitely sign up. It's free to join. Press create a design search wrap around mug and this will give us a nice blank canvas to work with if you're looking for inspiration canva has tons of fun things you can search literally anything pretty much and i mean i would never do that but <laughs> anything and just put it on your mug and you know i like to sort of design on the fly sometimes also add text but if you already have an image in mind on your computer that you want to use on your mug as i clearly do <laughs> Press Upload Files, select the image you want. This is my cat, Uni. She's not quite as vocal as my other cat, Mochi, who you may have seen in my videos, but she still knows how to have fun. If you think about this template as physically wrapping around a mug, you can imagine that this will be one side of the mug and this will be the opposite side. And ostensibly, you want the images to be evenly distributed, evenly spaced. If that's the case, copy it, paste it, select both images, press position, press middle. Actually, these look a little too close for my liking. Position, press middle, press group, which will allow you to simultaneously toggle them, press center, middle again, and there we have a nice even image. So once you're happy with your mug image, press share, press download, 
You don't need to select any of these settings and just hit download again and wait a few moments for your beautiful mug image to download. And once it does, it is ready for Cricut Design Space. Okay, so now we have to open Cricut Design Space. And once we're in Cricut Design Space, we're going to press new project on the upper right hand corner. <laughs> this will bring us to a blank canvas and from here we're going to go to the lower left hand corner and press upload and we're going to upload our image that we want on our mug so press browse and search for it I have already uploaded mine so once you've uploaded your image it's going to be right here select it add to canvas and voila, so this is your mug image on your canvas. In order to size this correctly for our 15 ounce mug, we are going to use a template. So click images on the left hand side and then browse all images. And on the left hand side, you're going to select project type that will open a drop down for you and click on 15 ounce regular ceramic <laughs> mug designs. Unless of course you're using a 12 ounce mug, in which case you would select this, but the process is pretty much the same. So here Cricut will show you all of these beautiful templates that they already have, but we are creating of course a custom template. So it honestly doesn't really matter which template you select for this. So I'm just gonna choose this random one. So this sprinkle template is actually just going to be our guide for the image size. So I'm going to size my cat image to fit inside. Here, I'm going to arrange it and bring it to the front so we can see better. I'm going to size it pretty much as much as I can to the same size as the pink sprinkle portion of the template. And then once we're done with that, we can literally just delete it. And here we have our perfectly sized mug wrap type. So from here, simply press make it. So here's your preview page. Whatever image you've chosen will show up here with this black box. That means that it's the Cricut is going to cut around the black box. So don't worry, that will not show up on your mug. Material size. 8.5 times 11 inches. And since this is sublimation, you will want to mirror your image. For me, it doesn't really matter because, you know, uni looks the same. Either way, you slice it. But um, if you have letters or, or words or something, or you want the image to be exactly as it is, then definitely mirror it. All right, press continue. Now we are going to send our image to the printer. Press send to printer and make sure that you've selected your sublimation printer. I don't like to add the bleed and then I always press use system dialog, which gives a more high quality print because it allows you to toggle with the settings. Press print and if you do press use system dialog, as it says down here, it's usually going to come up behind design space. So don't, don't just be waiting there and, and expect it to come up and get frustrated as I have. Okay, so I'm just checking all of my different presets for my Epson printer. Media type, I'm going to select photo matte paper. Quality, best, it already selected that for me. Layout, should be all good. If you for some reason forgot to mirror your image in design space, you can flip the page horizontally and that should do the same thing. Now that we have everything ready, press print. design. I will note that for sublimation, the colors always 
look less vibrant when you initially print them out. So for example, I'm expecting this picture of Uni to look a bit more poppy once I put it on the mug itself. So don't worry about that if yours are also looking a little bit dull. So you'll want to align the top edge of your paper on the top edge of the mug so that it's flush. And same with the bottom, ensure that's flush. You'll also want to make sure that your paper is as centered as possible so that your design is evenly distributed. Honestly, I usually eyeball it. If you want to be more accurate than I am, you can absolutely take a tape measure to measure the space in between the handle and the edge of your paper. But again, I am just going to eyeball it. All right. Then we're going to grab our heat resistant tape. Here is the Cricut Mud Press. I'm going to plug it in. My favorite part about this machine is that it is incredibly simple. There are no temperature controls or anything to monitor. All you have to do is press the power button and wait for it to heat up. So once it's heating, these circles will begin to light up. When all five of the circles have been lit up and the machine makes a loud beeping noise, you will know that your Cricut mug press is ready to go. So this usually takes about five to 10 minutes. So the light on my Cricut mug press has turned green, which means it is raring and ready to go. From here, simply open this side up, which will release the clamp in the mug press. Grab your mug. I always like to add some regular printer paper around my mug to ensure that there's no ink bleed out. Insert your mug into the opening and note that with this 15 ounce mug size, it does feel a little bit tight, so you might have to sort of wiggle it in there. And then simply press down and wait. You'll note that the mug press is heating if the little flashing lights are going and once all five of the lights have been illuminated, you'll know that your project is ready to take out. This usually takes about five to 10 minutes, so go grab a snack, a coffee, glass of wine, and just relax. We're going to put on our heat resistant gloves. Note this is totally <laughs> Oh my gosh, totally necessary because this is extremely hot. So open up the lever, grab your heat resistant surface. I'm just using a basic silicone mat here. And slide the mug out of your mug press and set it on the mat. Now it's important to wait for your project to fully cool before you remove the sublimation paper, just to ensure that there's you know, no smudging or anything. Um, even though you might be very tempted, just trust me, it's a lot better when you wait. And also this is again, super duper hot. So we're just gonna wait maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then we will come back to this. Okay, now I've let my mug fully cool off. I don't need my heat protective gloves anymore because it's cool. Again, you really have to be patient with these because they get really hot. <laughs> so let's do the grand reveal. I always get a little nervous when I open these because God forbid something went wrong, but it always turns out right. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty well. Mochi agrees. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you love your mug as much as I love mine. More importantly, I hope you loved the process of creating it. Definitely make sure that you try other sizes, other patterns, other designs. They're always such a fun gift to give to friends. Until next time, cheers.